Day 12 with me, Mr. Blom, um, of Eurovision. I hope everything is going well. We'll get started straight away. We've got year 3 and 4 to 10, 5 and 6, 11 to 20, but do whatever you feel is right for you and your level. Um, please make sure that you follow with as well. Don't just look for the answers. So we've got a missing number question. We've got a missing number plus 50 plus 8 should be plus 50 plus 8 equals 758. So again, just exactly how I've done it previously, split your place values up. You've got 700, you've got 50, and you've got 8. In 758, you've got 700 over here. We've got 5 tens, which is 50, and we've got 8. So we look at what's been added and what's, and what's basically the missing number will be the number that you don't see. So we see 50, we see 8, we don't see 700. So it's going to be 700 plus 50 uh, plus 8 equals 758. 255 plus 304. Okay, I'm just going to put the large number on top. 304 and 257. Make sure that you are pl uh, placing all the numbers in the right area. And if you need to, you can use your hats and caps. Units, tens, hundreds. I know you should put that as, as a capital letter. So let's do it. We go 4 plus 7. Is 11. We don't. We can't put 11 in there. We can only put one in there. We put the 10 in the next place value, and then you've got one, not 10. One plus five, which is six, and you've got three plus two, which is five, which makes 561. You got a subtraction over here. 306 minus 217. So you can't do six minus seven because you can't. You can't have six things and take seven away. So you need to borrow. We can't borrow from the number next door because it's a zero, so we need to move up to the next place value and borrow from here. We say thank you very much, and we get that three becomes two, and this zero now becomes 10. So now we can borrow from this 10 to give to the six, but then the 10's got to become nine, and the six has got to become 16. Okay, so it's a little bit difficult there with the borrowing, so I hope you listen carefully. 16 minus seven is nine, and you've got 9 minus 1, which equals 8. 2 minus 2 is 0, which gives you the answer of 89. You can also use the number line for this one, especially when you get a bit confused with the, with the borrowing. The next question, we've got 12 times 4. So we're going to look at our 4 times table or our 12 times table. I think in year 3, I think we look at our 4 times table. Um, we look at 4, 8, so it looks my fingers. I'm not going to write anything. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. 24, 28, 32, 36, 40. So 40 is times 10, 44, 48. So 12 times 4 is 48. Uh, 15 divided by 3, let's make, our, let's make the bags then again. So we've got three bags, and we're going to split uh, 15, uh, 15 sweets uh, between the three bags, okay? So I go 1, 2, 3. I'm going to go slightly faster than, than before. 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So that's fifteen. Let's see if there's the same amount in every bag. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So in each bag, there are five sweets. So that is the answer. Okay, moving on to question six. We've got a missing number plus 400 plus 21 equals 7421. So let's have a look and see which one's the missing one. How I do it is I split up the place values. So you've got 7,000, we've got 400, we've got 20, and we've got 1. So do we have 7,000 there? No. So that, that's probably going to be the missing number there already straight away. We've got 400. Uh, we've got 20 and 1, which makes 21. That that made 21. So the missing number is going to be 7,000. Um, next one is to add, uh, adding th uh, four-digit numbers. Again, make sure you line them up correctly. That's very, very important. 6, 5, 4, 8, plus 3, 2, 1, 4. Okay, so make sure your units, tens, hundreds, and thousands are all lined up. Use your hats and caps if you need to. So I could just write... Units, tens, hundreds, and then thousands over here. So you could uh, to make sure that they're all in the right column. 
And then you could, it's very hard to get it wrong then. You've got 8 plus 4, which equals 12. You put the 2, but then the 10 needs to go to the next column. You've got 4 plus 1 plus 1, which is 6. 5 plus 2, which is 7. And 6 plus 3, which equals 9. And that makes 9,762. 4125 decreased by 38814. Decreased is a negative uh, word, so it, it means the number is going to get smaller. It's being decreased by 3814, so we need to do 4, 1, 2, 5, take away 3, 2, 1, 4. 5 minus 4 is 1, 2 minus 1 is 1, 1 minus 2, if I have one sweet, can I take, can someone take two sweets away from me? No. So we need to borrow from this place value over here, that becomes 3, and it becomes 11 minus 2, which is 9, and 3 minus 3, which is 0, which becomes 900 and 11. Uh, just want to see if I've just uh, copied this out correctly. No, I haven't copied it out correctly. See, things can happen. So as you can see, I haven't I haven't copied. Oh, no, I have. 3814. Oh, I didn't, I didn't copy it out correctly. My apologies. Let's go back. So again, one of my mistakes for the that's my mistake for the day. I'm not allowed any more mistakes. So you probably were shouting at the screen when I was saying this. So let's go again. So it's four, one, two, five, uh, three, eight, one, four. Okay, see, I, I wrote them out incorrectly. So this might give us a better understanding of the answer. Five minus four is one, two minus one is one. Uh, one minus eight you can't do, it becomes three, and 11 minus eight is three, and that gives you. Uh, 311. I'm sure you got 311 ages ago. I just wrote out the wrong question. So, naughty Mr. Blom. Uh, we go for the next one. We'll go 382 times 5. So we got 5, 382 multiplied by 5. We're do the column method for this one. 2 times 5 is 10. 8 times 5 is 40. 40 plus 1, because you have to add that one, is 41. And you got 3 times 5, which is 15. And you've got to add the 4, which becomes... 19. So the answer is 1,910. And I've just checked and I've got that right. Remember, you can always check. Not You don't have to have the answers to check, but actually you can do checking by what is called the inverse operation. So if, if you're doing a, an addition calculation, you do the subtraction the other way around from the answer to find the right answer. If you're doing multiplication, you can do division to see if you're right. Okay, finally, number 10, we've got 528 shared between four people. So as with the year three one, we can't just put make <laughs> five bags and share out 382 things. That, that'll take too long. I think we did a lesson in year five where we tried to do something like that. But that is a really good way of, of looking at how numbers can be shared. But with the number that this is that is this large, we need to use the um, uh, bus stop method. Remember, we're going from the highest place value. Four goes into five. Yes, it does. Look, four. Boom. It goes in once, and there's one left over. So that one left over becomes the 10 on the next number. 4 goes into 12. 4, 8, 12. It goes three times. There's no leftover amount, so that 8 just stays as 8. 4 goes into 8 twice. So the number of the answer is 132. Okay, moving into the last 20, 10 questions. This is year 5 and 6. More specifically, year 5 for this one over here. Again, this box is... It's done a bit of a, a runner. There you go. Get into your area, Mr. Box. So we've got 6,000, we've got 7, and we need to find out which one's the missing number. Again, my recommendation, 6,000. Write it out. You've got 40, you've got 7. In the question, is there 6,000? Yes. In the question, is there 7? Yes. So your answer is 40. Okay, next question. 2.8 plus 9.7. Um, methods to do this, I suppose you could use the number line, but I think with regards to, I think with this one, and I wouldn't recommend you do this in your head, I recommend you just do a column method just to make 100% sure. I think doing it in your head, there's always opportunities to make mistakes just because of the inclusion of the two decimal points. You could possibly do 97 plus 28 and then go from there. I might show you how to do that, but let's do this as quickly like this. I'm going to put the decimal places all in a row. That's very, very important. How many times do children miss out the decimal point when they're doing the answer? 7 plus 8 is 15. 9 plus 2 is 11 plus 1 is 12. So it should be 
Well, then if you got the right answer. But what you can also do is you can do 97 plus 28, get 125, and then what you can do is you can say there's one decimal place to pull over, and that becomes 12.5 because there's one decimal place in the question. It's kind of what I did there anyway. All right, let's move on. 5.8 less than 7.4. So it's, that number is going to be less. It's less than 7.4. So we need to take the 7.4. And then you need to subtract. Again, I'd, I'd recommend just using the number line, uh, the column method. You don't need to use the number line for this. 4 minus 8 is our first stumbling block. I'm going to put this one point in there, remember? Because I can't have four things and then have <coughs> eight things taken away from me. Sorry, my earphones just fell on the floor. And then we've got, so we've got a borrow here from here, which becomes 6. So that becomes 14. 14 minus 8 we can do, and that becomes 6. 6 minus 5 we can do. And that becomes 1. So 7.4 minus 5.8 becomes 1.6. So less than is the smaller number, and that's the answer we get. I hope that's the right answer. Yes, it is. Let's move on. Okay, we've got 4, 3, 2, 4. 4, 3, 2, 4 times 3. You don't need, I don't think there's a need to use the um, grid method when the number is larger than three digits. So let's just use the column method over here. 4 times 3 is 12. The 10 comes into the next place value. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7. 3 times 3 is 9. So nothing to carry over again. 3 times 4 again is 12. So you should have 12,972. Put your commas in. Did you put your comma in just to show your understanding of place value? That is great. 12,972. I've got it right again. See, I told you I'm only allowed to have one, one incorrect answer. I got an incorrect answer earlier if you've just joined. Okay, 8236 shared between. So shared again, share is a number that's, so the end answer is going to be smaller. We're sharing between people. It's going to be divide. It's not going to be subtract. 8236 divided by 4. Right, doing the bus stop method. 4 goes into 8 perfectly, which is great. goes twice. There's no leftover amount. 4 goes into... I like this question because this is a question that will stump children sometimes. Four goes in, four does not go into two, but that does not mean at all that you should be leaving a place value open there. Because what will happen is it will just completely destroy the, the whole rest of the, cent, the, num, the number because the place values will then all be wrong. So what you need to do is, you need to ask yourself, does four go into two? No. So how many times if it doesn't go into two, does it go in? Well, the answer is zero. It goes in zero times. That two then becomes a leftover amount because it hasn't shared in. So it becomes a leftover amount, becomes 23 on the next place value. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. So 5. 4 times 5 is 20. So it goes in five times. And how many left over? Let's go from 21, 22, 23. From 20 to 23, 21, 22, 23. There's three left over, okay? So that becomes three left over amount over here. Four into 36. I've got a feeling this is going to go in, in perfectly. You're in year five now. You're in year five part. So you should understand and should be able to draw facts without having to count. I, I, I don't think you should be counting in year five. We're looking at 36. What number of facts can we draw? Well, 10 times four is 40. So therefore, wouldn't four less than 40 be the ninth multiple? Yeah. So 4 times 9 will be 36, and it goes in absolutely perfectly. 2, 0, 5, 9. Great. we we'll move on to the more year 6-like questions. Again, the little boxes are not in the greatest of places. So we put it there. And then we look at the place values of all the numbers. So we have, how many digits are in that number? So this is where you you can go wrong just by not really seeing how many decimals are in this uh, digits in this number. I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to put my hats and caps up here. Hundreds. That's three. So I need six decimal. I need six uh, place values. Thousands. Hundred thousands. My word, not hundred thousands, goodness me. Thousands, ten thousands. Hundred thousands. 
Good. So that's six. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's how easy it is to go from there. And now I'll just put the numbers in. Zero, one, one. Zero, zero, seven. So 700,110. It is as simple as pi now because all I need to go and say, okay, right, I need to write 700,000. Good. I need to write 100. And I need to write 10. Those are only three digits that have any value. Everything else has a zero value. So what have I got here? Have I got 700,000? No. Oh, that might be it. <laughs> I've got 100 and I've got 10. So the missing digit is 700,000. I bet you if you got that wrong, it would be probably because you had the wrong number of place, uh, placeholders after the seven. So it's a 700,000. Let me just check. 700,000. Okay, good. Let's move on. 8.7 greater than 8, 5.8. Okay, so we're going 8.7 larger than 5.8. So we're gonna, the number's going to be larger, and we're going to add the two together. Now, we could use the column method, absolutely. But let's maybe have a look and see, let's, let's have a look at more of a mental uh, a, a mental oral method because I think in year six that's probably what you'd be looking to do, okay? So I'm not going to do the I'm not going to do the uh, the column method because I don't think it's going to be helpful. Uh, no, it's going to be helpful, but I think the oral method trying to figure out in that way would be would be better. What I would do is in your head. Now I'm writing things down, but actually these are all things that you're going to be thinking in your head. So in your head, you need to partition the numbers. That's the first thing. In this number, because it's, it's such a small number, you've only got tenths and you've got units. So that's very easy. So what we want to do is we want to add the things, the, the place values separately and then add them together. It sounds complicated, but once you get this into a, into a mold, you'll really, really enjoy this. And I'll probably do this in future videos. So in the tenths, we have 0 0.7 and 0 0.8. Now, if you can't think this in your head, of course, do the column method. It's not a problem. I'm just showing you if you're in year six, what might be a, a better way to do that. Well, not better way, but a more interesting way to do this. So in your head, you'd say 0 0.7 plus 0 0.8. You could even say to yourself, 7 plus 8 is 15. But then if it's got a decimal point in, it would be 1.5. So in my head, I'd be working out 0 0.7 plus 0 0.8, which would be 1.5. And then I look at the two unit values. The two unit values are 8 and 5. So in my head, I'm saying what's 8 plus 5? And that's 13. And all I then have to do, let's, let's different color this. All I then have to do is say 1.5 plus 13, which is 14.5. Now I know I've written that down, but actually that is what, I'm just showing you how the process would work in my head. Uh, let's see if I got that right, 14.5. So what I find is, is that when you're adding, adding numbers, the, a way, an oral may, way you can do this is to split up the place values and then add them together afterwards. I really do feel like it's a, it's a good, it's a good way to do it. And in year five, we've started to do it really well. Okay, and this one we're going to take five point, uh, five point four, <laughs> four point five six from ten. I think with this one, I think just use the, uh, use the column method. I think we might do both, but let's use the column method, because I feel like this is a dangerous one, it, for for a for a couple of ways. Because I'm going to write ten there. And then where you write 4.56 is going to be decided how you get this question right or wrong. That That's it. If you don't, I bet you that if you've got this wrong, it's where you put the place values. I've seen this so many times where a question that is relatively simple as this be done wrong. And the reason why is because people don't think that you can just add placeholders. 10.0 is the exact same as saying 10. Point, as saying 10. 10.00 is the exact same thing as saying 10. 10. So these are the exact same, this is the, still the exact same numbers. But why have I put these placeholders in? Well, because in the other question, in the other number, there are two place values. So it works then if I write this down that I can literally do a question as normal just with the, pla the placeholders in and the decimal points going down. I can see that it's 0 0.6. I think we get put off when we see, I'm going to show you, this kind of thing. And I know for a fact, even worse, I bet you some people would have done maybe this. It's all about the place value. It's all about putting the place values in the right areas. And these two are not good. That's that's a not great example. And that's a terrible example. So we need to make sure that we are making, sh we need to make sure that we are putting the place values in the right area. I'm just gonna rub this out. The reason I've taken so long on this bit is because the actual calculation bit is not, is not 
is not too difficult at all. There's a lot of borrowing involved, but in year six, this should be absolutely fine, especially when you've technically got a four-digit number by a three-digit number. So let's do it. Zero. I can see the zeros. I'm like zero minus six is, can't do zero, can't do zero minus six. I can't borrow from here. I can't borrow from here. So I borrow from here. Again, I'm going to work quickly because you're in year six. That becomes 10. Get rid of it. That becomes nine. That becomes 10. Get rid, nine, 10. 10 minus six is four. Nine minus five is four. Nine minus four is five. And then zero. So your answer is 5.44. And there are many ways, even that being quite a simple question, that you can get that wrong. I got it right, though, because I did everything right. Isn't that fantastic? Um, three, four, five times 30. Ah, okay. Three, four, five times 30. Don't make it a three pi two digit calculation. Again, I see it so many times. That 30, do what I say. This is the best way to do it. I don't know if Mr. Sewell will agree. 345. 30 is 3 and 10. Yes? So, why don't then we do 345 times 3, and then later on, we multiply by 10, because we're just going to be increasing the place value by 1. Simple as that. 5 times 3 is 15. 4 times 3 is 12 plus 1 is 13. 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1 is 10. 1,035. That's not my answer. That's the answer to 345 times 3. But what is 345 times 30? Well, it's 345 times 3 times 10. And how do we times 10? We increase each place value by 1. So you got 1, 0, 3, 5, 0. I hope you got that right. If you did it in the column method where you, I don't know, use 30, that's absolutely fine. But that, that's how I would do it. Share 2 between 8. This is, we're going to share 2 cakes between 8 people. Let me write, I'm going to make a cake for you. Beautifully drawn. Look at that cake. I'm going to make another cake for you. Very good. And we need to share it now between eight people. They're going to be very upset because if you don't get this wrong. So I've got loads of sm smiley faces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last person. He can be like, he can be okay. He's just average face, like, yeah, whatever. Everyone else is really happy. Eight people, two cakes. Question to you. Can everyone get a cake? Can everyone get one cake each? No. So stop right there if you're writing this because the answer is not four. You can't give, you cannot give each person four cakes. You're sharing only two things between eight people. So the number is going to be less than one, less than one. So actually the eight is going to be on the outside going into the two. But you can't do that. You can't go into two. Yes, that is true. But I'm going to go again based... I'm going to look at the question that we did at number 18. Take 4.5 from 10. What did I do to the 10, which didn't change the number whatsoever? I added placeholders. So again, I can do the exact same thing here. 2.00 is the same as 2. So now I can do it. It's almost like saying 200 divided by 8 now but it's just got decimal points. Eight can't go into two. However, eight can go into 20. By the way, let me put a zero there. Eight can't go into two, so zero. I remember that from earlier. Eight into 20, eight, 16. 24 is gonna to be too much, so it goes in twice. Eight, 16. How much is left over? 17, 18, 19, 20. Four left over. Eight goes into 40. Come on, you should know this. Eight into 10, eight times 10 is 80, so half of 80 is 40, so it'll be five. 0 0.25, oh, we can go a little bit further with this, this is good fun. So 0 0.25. Now, we've got all of those, we've got all of those people very hungry, they wanna know how much cake they can eat. They will eat as much cake as they can. Those two, cake, those two cakes are being finished, but how much can they eat? Well, let's find out, shall we? Let's, let's make this a fraction. Let's go even further, shall we? So, 
half is probably the easiest fraction that you've learned since you were in year three or four, right? What do you think a half is as a decimal number? Well, a half as a decimal number is 0 0.5. If I had to go along the line, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7. I had to count back from 0 0.9, 0, uh, from 1 and 0 0.1, and I go backwards. In the middle, I would find 0 0.5. Okay, in the middle, I would find 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 is halfway between 0 and 1. So if a half is 0 0.5, what do you think a quarter would be? And what do you think three quarters would be? So one hole would be one hole, zero would be zero, a quarter would be in between zero and 0 0.5. So it's halfway between. So what's halfway between zero and 0 0.5? What's halfway between zero and 50? 25. So it'd be 0 0.25. What about three quarters? Halfway between 0 0.5 and one. Halfway between 50 and 100, 75. So it'll be 0 0.75. So have a look over here. It'd be pretty easy to share this out because each person would be able to get a quarter of a cake. <sighs> quarter of a cake. I'm trying not to eat so much cake. So yeah, a quarter of a cake would be, would be able to be shared between each person. So that's how I've gone really quite deep into the fractions and uh, into the fractions part of that, the decimal part of that. If you got 0 0.25, well done. But that was just a little bit of an added extra. Because it's day, you know, it's day 12. You get a little bit extra on day 12. Uh, tomorrow you have uh, Mr. Saul back. And then hopefully I'll be back um, when uh, day 15, day 16, maybe one of those days. Thank you very much and well done.